hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about threat and vulnerability management a capability available with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint which can help you discover remediate vulnerabilities and weaknesses or misconfiguration that exist on endpoints if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint deployment guidelines whereas in this video we are going to talk about what is threat and vulnerability management now threat and vulnerability management is often referred as TVM so we are also going to discuss how TVM helps you in discovering real-time vulnerabilities and misconfigurations how TVM helps in bridging the gaps between IT and security team now before we go ahead and talk about threat and vulnerability management it will be better if you have basic understanding of what is vulnerability what is vulnerability management and what is the purpose of CVE and CVSS there are already four different videos which I have created and I will be adding the link in the description if possible please go ahead and watch them and I can ensure you you will have a better understanding of how exactly vulnerability management process works in a nutshell let's begin Threat and vulnerability management is one of the services offered by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and it is the first pillar of the entire stack. The purpose of this service is to protect your endpoints by discovering and remediating vulnerabilities, weaknesses and misconfiguration that exist on a specific device. In simplest term, this service is actually going to help you with vulnerability management of your endpoints or device as a digital state. But the question is how exactly it works. Think about a use case where I need to know what vulnerabilities and weaknesses or misconfiguration exist on a device. In this case, I must capture some data from the device, likewise list of softwares, OS version or some hardware detail but when we talk about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint or when you onboard your devices to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint either by using local script GPO or MDM the built-in sensor on the device starts sending signals to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint instance of your tenant and what kind of information has been sent the first one is file data which includes details like file name, size or hashes, any changes to system files, process data likewise running processes and process hashes, registry values and their respective changes, network data connection to report the entire telemetry of the network locations accessed through that device device details itself likewise name and OS and then deep optics of kernel and memory manager now this is the same data which is also used for EDR capabilities but for discovery purpose TVM uses the same data which has already been captured now this rich contextual data and signals which are continuously reported by the sensors on the endpoint typically helps in real-time inventory management of your endpoints software inventory basically list of all the softwares installed on that device with valid CPE application runtime context and configuration posture now since the data is already collected the purpose of TVM console is to now organize this information into six different management options first one is dashboard an overall view of exposures and weaknesses of your endpoints second one is recommendation basically a list of all the recommendation based on the inventory which has been captured the third one is remediation actions this section helps you in creating a task for your IT team which is visible in endpoint manager console and this is the step that helps you bridge the gap between IT and security team. Security analysts can initiate a remediation action based on the priority of the vulnerability 
and the IT team can take respective actions in terms of remediating that vulnerability, likewise deploying a security patch. Fourth one is software inventory. Again, the list of all the softwares which are installed on a particular device with valid CPE because the softwares for which CPEs are not defined or CPE does not exist, vulnerabilities are typically not defined for them. We will talk about this in a lot more detail when we will specifically talk about software inventory. Fifth one is weaknesses. A list of all the CVEs based on the inventory captured from the onboarded devices. And the last one is event timeline. A timeline view of how risk was introduced in your organization through new vulnerabilities or exploits. Now there will be a separate video for each and every option in the console that I have listed here. But the purpose of this video was to give you a brief introduction about DVM, what are the different set of options available and which console you should choose to begin with. The first console will always be the dashboard section. So this was all about knowing the basics of DVM. Let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. We have discussed about what is threat and vulnerability management, how it helps in discovering real-time vulnerabilities and misconfigurations, how DVM helps in bridging the gap between the IT and security team. In the next video, I'm going to cover some of the details that you should know to get started with DVM. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video. If you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.